headed your way in our MLB matchup. We'll see the San Francisco Giants as they play against the Colorado Rockies. Right here on 2K Sports. Two K Sports welcomes you, Major League Baseball. I'm Gary Thorne with Steve Phillips and John Cruck. Glad to have you on board. Mid-April, Matt Kemp. He can bring the big hit. Will he do it today? We're about to find out. Tonight, we are in the Rocky Mountains and Coors Field in Denver. Adam Wainwright. He'll take the mound first. So, Steve, how's he going to handle these San Francisco bats today? Adam Wainwright does not have an overpowering fastball, but he can command it and locate it. He'll pitch hitters inside to keep them off the plate and throw that backdoor breaking ball, one of the best curveballs in the game. We've got a chance to see how that lineup looks for the Giants. Well, some kind of offense right here, star-studded lineup, and really great length and depth with guys that really can put the ball in play. Their second baseman in the box now. San Francisco with a victory in their last game. And you like to jump out with that first win in the three-game series. We'll see how they handle game two against Colorado. The 0-0 delivery, a fastball taken for a strike. They win with a seven-run surplus. Boy, what a way to go. Uh, it was a big outburst for them, and that's why they got this win. Change up stays outside, and it's even at one. Well, you got to like the way he's changing speed and mixing up his pitches. He just missed, though, with that change up down and away. Oh. And that's taken outside for a ball, two, one strike count. Wainwright kicks, delivers, swing, and a hot shot. And Ramirez fields the ball. First out of the ball game taken care of right there. Now let's take a look at how the Rockies will line up defensively. And uh, scouting those fielders, John. Well, the big guy in the middle, Troy Tulowitzki, six foot three, 205 pounds, but he has great range and possesses one of the best throwing arms in all of baseball for an infielder. He can make the spectacular play, but what he does better than anyone, he makes the routine play as good as you can get. It's going to be Jackson now. Well, another outstanding season for Adam Wainwright. You have to remember, when the St. Louis Cardinals won the World Series, who was the closer for him? Adam Wainwright. They converted him to a starter, and he has just done what everyone thought he could do. 2-4-2 ERA with a 1.05 whip, both career best in 2010. Called strike outside corner. Quickly in the hole now, 0-2. Before Adam Wainwright, the numbers John was talking about, he uh, had a 20-win season. That's the first time he's done that, Steve. Uh, listen, he also had five complete games, two shutouts, and pitched over 230 oh. innings. But what I like is he takes that closer mentality and that role that he served in a couple years ago, and he brings it into the starting rotation. When he's in a jam, he knows how to put up zeros. And Wainwright with a 1-2 delivery. Oh. That pitch misses low, 2-2 two and two now. Taps this one foul off to the left. Now the 2-2. Jackson with the foul ball. Well, you know when that pitch left the pitcher's hand, he had him set up for that pitch inside for the big strikeout. Great piece of defensive hitting right there. Just gets enough on it to keep this at-bat going. Fastball got him looking. Two down. Well, they set him up away, and they buzz him up and in. That's an outstanding pitch right there. He couldn't pull the trigger on And be sure to tune in next Sunday. It'll be the Philadelphia Phillies on the road. They take their game to San Diego to challenge the Padres at Petco Park. The action gets started at 4 Eastern. Oh, I guess, look, if you and John are going to be at that one, I want to go do that game, too, because that looks like it's going to be a good one. Two outs and nobody on. Just missed with the fastball, 1-0. A great movement on that two-seam fastball, trying to start it on the corner, running it off the plate. The hitter just laid off. Hey 
Here's the 1 0. 1 0 pitch, change up in there. 1 1. What an outstanding pitch. Changing speeds, hitting your spots. Throw that change up away. Here's the 1 1. There's a swing. Fly ball down the line and left. And that one's going to drop in. That's their first hit. And now let's take a chance here to see where the Giants sit in the National League today. First in ERA, first in on-base percentage, and the number two team in batting average goes a long way to scoring runs. So many good hitters in this lineup hitting for a high batting average. See if they can continue it through the year. Mays is the batter now. Runner on first, two away. He's running. And he is safe at second. Here's the delivery. Swings, hits this one in the air, down the right field line. That'll do it as they put that one away. Go well, Adam Wainwright, He's heading off to the dugout. Works his way out of the first inning without allowing anyone to score. Soon it'll be the Colorado Rockies, bottom of the first. San Francisco starter on the mound. Let's take a look. Steve, as he faces these Colorado hitters, what's he got on his mind? Oh, it's a phenomenal lineup right here. That's why this outstanding right-hander is going to have to be on top of his game to be able to neutralize some of their big bats and get the outs he needs. He has to work ahead in the count or they'll make him pay. And Ramirez settles in. First pitch. Way down the line and left. As he drops back and puts it away. Presenting our starting lineup, this is what Jim Tracy's done with the offense. Thoughts, John? Anybody stand up? Well, the athleticism of Matt Kemp, no better athlete in the game of baseball. Problem Matt Kemp has is sometimes that athleticism gets in the way of the fundamentals of the game. If Matt Kemp could be a fundamentally sound player, he could be one of the best there is. Still, though, pretty good as far as hitting the ball out of the ballpark, stealing bases, and the fact that he can chase balls down with the best of them in center field. One out, base is empty. Swung on, hit in the air to right center. Now it's two away. We'll take a look here and see where the Giants are positionally around the diamond. Take a look here at the Rockies and how they ranked in the National League last season. He was first in triples, third in batting average, and as you can see, they also hit with runners in scoring position in clutch situations. Third best team batting average in that situation, really pointing to the fact they have the right mental approach. Credit the hitting coach. Fastball is high, 1-0. Now picked up three big base hits in the game last night, swinging the bat very well. A 1-0 pitch. Ball. Sinker just off the black. Falls behind 2-0. His lifetime average, 287 off the Giants. Up the middle. Quick half inning there. It's over. Five pitches. Nobody on the board yet here in Colorado. Middle of the lineup, due up. McCovey up. He'll start us out here in the second. This one swung on and driven hard. Kemp will field. He comes up with it easily here. Well, let's take a look at where San Francisco ended up rank-wise last year in the National League. 
sixth in home runs, seventh in batting average, and they were the top ten in hits, a lineup that was able to make a lot of contact and put the ball in play. Terry batting now. One out, nobody on. And a swinging strike on the first pitch by Wainwright. 0 and 1. Boy, that's some kind of fastball down in the zone right there. The hitter has to be ready for it or he's got no chance to hit it. Ball. Missed badly with a change there. 1 and 1. Slider just off the black that time, two and one. He tried to backdoor that pitch, but left it out of the way. On the way. Strike two. The 2-2 two -two coming. And that misses the outside corner. It'll run it full, 3-2. Well, he tried to go outside on the outside corner with that fastball right there. Just got a little bit off the plate. He's got to be careful, though. You don't want that hitter to get his arms extended. And this has popped up on the left side. The catch. And he has it for the second out. Here's how the Western Division race is shaping up in April. Brought to you by State Farm. In first place, it's the D-backs. The Dodgers, second place. Giants in the third spot. Rockies in the fourth spot. And rounding out the list, the Padres. And Williams in the box. Base is empty and two down. A swing line to left center. And it falls in. Hitting streak continues. Now with two down, they've got a man on board. Well, with two outs and no one on base, chances of scoring a run seem pretty scarce. But they get that two-out hit. Now they have some life. But at the plate. A runner on first with two outs. The pitch from Wainwright. Watches that fastball. That goes by him for a strike. It's fouled away. He fouls that one off. Well, the last thing you want to do in this situation is strike out. But with an 0-2 count, your chances are pretty good that you will strike out. But this defensive approach will keep him alive. Curveball. Thought he had him, but it's 1-2. and two. The best curveballs are the ones that start in the strike zone, then fall out of the strike zone. He couldn't get him to fish for that one, though. Curveball. That tied him up in knots. Swung on and missed. Side retired. Good work there, Adam Wainwright. He emerges from the first two innings on scape. And next, it'll be the Rockies getting it going. And Matt Camp will get us going here. Over his career, going 291 off the Giants. Fastball in there, 0-1. I uh, gotta be feeling good today. Picked up a couple hits in the game last night. Here's the pitch. Right. And it's 0-2. Kemp will be careful. They'll try and K him. That's a good fastball right there. He blew that one right by him. The pitch. Ball. 
Oh, tough one to lay off right there, that fastball. One and two. Fastball in there, called third strike, one out. Good pitch right there. Two strike fastball inside at the knees, hitting his spots with exceptional velocity. And Carlos Gonzalez stands in. Well, guys, you know, anytime you trade a star player, you better get something back in return. And when the Rockies traded Matt Holliday, they got Carlos Gonzalez. Little did they know they were getting a more complete player than Matt Holliday ever was. Average, power, great defender. Young, this kid's going to be around for a long time, putting up huge numbers. Plays off that one outside, 1-0. Well, certainly, Carlos Gonzalez now has a firm footing at the majors. That was his first real full season, 2010, with the Rockies. I'll tell you what, one of the most exciting players in the game today, and I don't even know if we have any idea how good he's going to be. He does everything that you can to win a baseball game on the field. Now the 2-0. And here's a sinker for a called strike. Two and one. He has hit 240 lifetime against the Giants. The 2-1 offering. Smashes that one towards the shortstop. And that'll put Gonzalez on first. That's going to bring up Buster Posey. Let's we'll take a peek back to last season for Carlos Gonzalez. Here's how he ranked. First in batting average, first in hits, and he was second in triples. That ability to think three out of the batter's box. When he hit the ball in the gap, he was hustling all the way, and the third base coach waved him around. Well, a lot of the so-called experts didn't think the San Francisco Giants would have enough offense to contend in the National League West, but little did we know that Buster Posey would come up and be inserted in the middle of the lineup and produce runs like he did. You talk about a guy who did everything he can to help his team win. But up the middle, number 93. Over to second for one. And that's two. Yeah. A double play. So no runs on one hit and nobody left on. Nobody on the board yet here in Colorado. Number three hitter up. He's going to start the third here. Sliders in there, no balls and a strike. Down, down, down. It's all about location. That breaking ball down in the zone makes it very difficult on the hitter. The pitch from Wainwright. Swung on, grounded towards the hole. And that's out number one stepping in the back. You have to have good hands and good feet at first base. He has both as he scoops it up and takes care of it himself. In the box, their rookie second baseman. Grounded out his last time through. Base is empty, one out. First pitch to him. It's 0-1 as he swings and misses at that fastball. And it's fouled off. Foul. Posey calls for the pitch. Ball. And that ball there as Wainwright misses. He tried to backdoor that pitch, but left it out and away. The one two pitch. Swing and a miss on the fastball, second out in the inning. Let's take another look at that pitch. It's a two-seam fastball in KKM. And I think the uh, last couple of pitches he faced, it, it didn't seem like he was ready for that fastball. Yeah, he got some off-speed pitch, the previous pitch, but you should be able to expect to get the bat on that heater, especially with two strikes. Two outs, bases empty. 
And here's the first one. And Wainwright misses outside, taken for a ball. Here's a swing and a line drive. And that ends the half inning as Ramirez makes the play. It's the kind of inning the defense likes. Three up, three down. And still a shutout here in Colorado. For those of you just coming on board, Gary Thorne with Steve Phillips and John Cruck bringing you Major League Baseball on 2K Sports. To the plate, here comes Andrew McCutcheon. On the base pass, number two in steals in the ball club. And Jackson makes the play. Here's a look at the league leaders at the plate last season, brought to you by State Farm. Number one, Carlos Gonzalez. Second is Joey Votto. Third, Troy Tulowitzki. Matt Holliday, fourth. And Albert Pujols, he's number five. When you look at these hitters, they're really the guys with the most versatility. The ability to drive the ball to left field, to right field, and hit the fastball, the curveball, the slider. There's really not a pitch these guys can't hit. Shot towards the hole. Retiring to Lewitsky. Two away. Dan Ugla, he'll get the swing now with two away. Deals. Ball oh, sinker misses badly. One and zero. Here's the one zero. Oh, Fastball misses badly. He's behind two and zero. He watches that fastball. That goes by him for a strike, two and one. Boy, what a big number. 360 last year against the Giants. Here's the 2 1. That's it. Pretty well down the line and left. That's caught. Side is retired. It's called short work of three. Took six pitches. Nobody on the board yet here in Colorado. And the three hole will be coming right up. And the rookie left fielder at the plate. He'll start things off here, inning number four. The first pitch. Ball. And Wainwright's pitch too low, taken for a ball. Well, they've got a couple of hits here, and we're into the fourth inning, so they. Maybe they're starting to get something going in the second time through the lineup. Maybe they'll try to figure something out, Gary. Ball. Misses outside for ball two. Now the 2-0 pitch. Inside with the fastball, 3-0. After another ball right there, the batter's at the full advantage. 3-0 count. I'm turning him loose right here. Right. Fastball, that's over for a strike, 3-1. Same thing here, selective 3-0. Now you can still be selective on 3-1. Make him throw it where you want it. Here's the 3-1 pitch. That's swung on and a liner here. And he gets it down. He's two for two now. And the upcoming schedule for the Colorado Rockies. They wrap up the San Francisco series tomorrow. They can look forward to a competitive series. The Marlins hosting that one. That'll be a three-game series. 
Then they'll continue on with another road series. The Chicago Cubs will be hosting. And quite a bit of time away from home for, for them over these next several games. Mays gets a turn here. Flew out last time. A runner on first, no out. First pitch on the way. Oh. Slider misses badly with it. One and oh. The one oh now. Swing, hot shot. That looks like a single. This is an opening for San Francisco. Well, a key contributor in that last win. Three big hits in that game, and he's seeming to find a way again to get it started. And Willie McCovey up. Second highest average on the ball club. Runners at first and second. Nobody out. Here's the pitch. Strike it's strike one. one. Can't make contact on the fastball. Strike Looks two. at that curveball. That's a strike. He's behind 0-2. Now his two RBIs helped contribute to the offense in last night's ballgame. Tried to get him to go after that curve. One and two. He went with the big curveball off the plate, trying to get him to reach for it, but he lays off. Fastball, that's well off the plate. Two and two. The 2 2 pitch. Now swing and a shot towards second. Ugla has one. And they turn the double play. Here's a look for 6 3 on the double play. Now that's the way they teach you, whether you're at second base or shortstop. One fluid motion, get it out of the glove and get rid of it. Terry is the batter. 0 for 1 thus far. Two outs and a runner on third. And the first pitch hit up the middle. Oh, avoided the path of that ball. That was right up the middle. Was that ever close? A run comes home. That hit knocks in a run. We take a look at the win expectancy graph. But what a big RBI. He comes through right there in the clutch to break this scoreless tie. Great at bat. And Williams in the box. Now this offense, Steve, it's on the move. And now they're trying to carry this on in the ballgame. Uh, that was a good piece of hitting right there. He got his pitch, took advantage of it, drove it, and picked up the run. Ball. And Wainwright misses outside, taken for a ball. And you get a feeling, even though it's early in this ball game, that every run in this one is going to matter. Well, that's why they have to look to keep tacking on runs, try to sustain the lead. When you've got an opportunity like this, you need a big hit. Fastball just misses, and he falls behind 2-0. Oh. Boy, it's a great fastball right there, down in the strike zone. Now there's so many ways to go. Let's see how he comes back to attack this hitter. Line towards second, and yet another hit there, seeing the ball well. Boy, what a time now to capitalize if they can. Opposite field hitting. It is a classic piece of baseball. Especially on that inside pitch. It keeps the defense off guard when you can muscle the inside pitch to right field. Two men on and two men out. The pitch hit hard on the ground to short. 
Throws the first side is retired. Able to drop a run here in the fourth. First run up. The Giants in front. One to nothing. The top of the order is due up next. And it's Hanley Ramirez now. Swings and misses. The sinker, 0-1. He has hit 239, lifetime off the Giants. Ramirez, ground ball. And out. Pitcher makes a nice play at first base. That was a nice play. Saw the opportunity at first. Didn't waste any time getting over. That's the key. Beat the runner to the bag. Good hustle off the mound. One out, base is empty. Here's the pitch. Ball. First pitch, a sinker away, 1-0. Oh. The 1-0 oh pitch. Ball. Inside with the fastball, 2-0. And that one misses outside. Ball three. Ball Lost him. Ball four. Potential time run is on. Off the plate outside. He's missed on four straight. He's got to bring it back in the zone. That's going to bring Joey Votto up. He's got the most home runs in the division. They're going to have to give him the green light at first base. He has good speed. They're down by a run. He's got to get in scoring position. Pitch out. Nothing was on, though. Pauses, and now the 1 0. That's outside. Ball two. Well, one thing they know they can count on in this lineup is his bat. He has been so consistently good. Here's the pitch. Ball three, Joey Votto lays off it, and now in real danger of putting him on with a free pass. Last season, very good 3-0-8 against the Giants. That misses, ball four, potential tying run now at second. Off the plate outside, he's missed on four straight. He's got to bring it back in the zone. So, that will put Matt Kemp on the hot seat. Up there with that walk, they put the go-ahead run on base with one out in this inning. You've got to be careful right here. Try to get a double play ball. Runners on first and second with one out. And here's the first one. He makes contact, line drive. And that's going to be a base hit for Kemp. Now, here he comes, heading for home. And he comes home, that's it, we are tied. Good pitch down low, Steve, but a better at bat. Well, he did a real nice job going down into the swing to get that low ball to be able to pick up the hit. Carlos Gonzalez comes up, two runners on. Now, they did not want to get too far behind in this ball game, so the the importance of the production here is to get themselves even. Now, Gary, that was a big at bat right there. Coming up and bringing them back even here early on. Nice job. That's all it took, and that brings us to that proverbial brand new ball game. And here's the delivery. Ball. Fastball just misses. 1-0. Well, that was a great at bat, not only because it drove in the tying run, but it shifted the momentum, and now the offense is back on track. Here's the 1-0. -oh. 
Sinker drops low. Two balls, no strike. See if he can't continue what he did last night when he picked up a couple hits. And he takes a fastball for a strike, two and one. You look at the season average for him last year, 253 against the Giants. Now the 2 1 pitch. Here's a swing and a fly ball to right center. And it drops the base hit. Boy, what a time now to capitalize if they can. He's coming off a two-hit performance in his last outing, and even though they lost, it's a good sign that he's starting to swing it. Three on and one out. Here's the pitch to Posey. Sinker swung on, missed 0 1. Pitch on the way. Hit in the air to center field. And that gets through. Posey drives it around. And Kent crosses. Openings for this lineup offensively. Don't give it to them now because they are hot. A couple of RBIs on that swing. Let's see what that does for their win expectancy graph. They need to get it out right now. I mean, this offense just has kept the pressure on them. They need to regroup and get him out. Here's Andrew McCutcheon at the plate. And with the lead, this lineup looks as though they're ready to do some more damage. Uh, still a ways to go, but pitching's going to catch up here. Uh, that was a good piece of hitting right there. He got his pitch, took advantage of it, drove it, and picked up the run. Posey is on at first. Gonzalez is the runner at second. Swings and misses. The sinker, 0-1. And, and you get a feeling, even though it's early in this ballgame, that every run in this one is going to matter. Well, that's why they have to look to keep tacking on runs, try to sustain the lead. When you've got an opportunity like this, you need a big hit. Here's the pitch. Andrew McCutcheon not fooled on the delivery, and the count is evened up. He hit seven for 24 last year against the Giants. The pitch. It's off the plate low, and it's 2-1. Well, hitters know those two seam fastballs down on the way turn into ground ball out, so they lay off of it. But with two strikes, it's a pitch you have to swing at. And the runners go. Oh, oh and they get that one on the out. Couldn't get the double part of it. Swing sets this one pretty well. Deep right center. Base hit. That could be for two. They're trying to bring Posey home. And Posey scores. Hitting? Well, they say it's contagious. It is contagious here in this ball game because they can't be stopped. This is great patience at the plate. He let the ball get deep in on the plate, comes in toward his hands, keeps his hands inside the ball, and drives it the other way. You make yourself a whole different ball player if you can take the ball the other way as he just did. McCutcheon's on at third. 
Now Tulowitzki in the box. Fastball in there for a called strike. Fourth inning of this game, and right now he's finding himself over 20 pitches here. and That is eating away at his overall pitch count total, so uh, he may not be around for long. He deals. And he leaves that one alone. Troy Tulowitzki, good patience, even count. For his career, 299 off the Giants. Good pitch on the outside corner, one and two. Well, that's textbook use of the sinker. Down and away, pounding the strike zone. Good pitch. And that's strike three, and mercifully so. Inning comes to a close, but big-time damage done. They pick up four hits in the inning, wind up with four crossing the plate. The Rockies have gained the upper hand here. Number three slot up again here. And the first pitch. There's a swing and a liner towards first. And Votto makes that play. Well, first base could be the hot corner, too, and that was a hot shot to first, but he was able to get up and spear it for the out. And it rolls around to the top again. Struck out swinging his last time up. Nobody on base, one away. Now the first pitch. Ball one. And Wainwright misses outside, taken for a ball. Well, that's where you look for a changeup from the pitcher away in the strike zone. If they look for it and get it, they can really shoot that thing the other way and do some damage. Now the 1-0 pitch. Strike Called one. strike away, and it's even at one. And Posey sets up his target. Swung on, hit in the air to right center. That should be a base hit. Well, little action going right now for this team. A single here with one out. Little bit of momentum. Let's see if they can bring him across. It's going to be Jackson now. Lined out last time up. Runner at first with one down. Here's the first pitch. Good rip on that one, but he missed it on one. Here's the pitch. Oh, and he lays off the fastball. Good pitch, 1-1. One one. Here's the 1-1 one, one pitch. Missed with the curve, 2-1. and one. Jackson, a ground ball. He picks it up. Ugla has one. And two. A double play. No runs, one hit, and no one left on base. Rockies four. San Francisco one. And it's Dan Ugla to lead it off. Only one batter gets walked more than he does in this lineup. First pitch on the way. First pitch inside. Ball one. 
Now, Gary, what he understands is the best way to get on isn't necessarily to swing your way on. Sometimes you have to take pitches to be a better hitter. The pitch. And he takes a strike on that fastball. 1-1. One, one. Lifetime, 316 batting average against the Giants. The 1-1 one, one pitch. Back up the middle. Number 93. That's one away. And a quick look at how San Francisco's schedule is shaping up. It's Colorado series ending tomorrow. Following that, they have to deal with Chipper Jones. The Braves come to town. A team that will definitely give them a competitive series. That's Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Following that, they'll head to Pittsburgh to take on the Pirates. One out. Hanley Ramirez is up. Four straight seasons hitting over 300. And look, it's a tough thing to do in Florida. The crowds aren't great. Sometimes the energy level isn't good. To keep your focus and concentration, to hit 300 four straight seasons in that ballpark, you're doing something very special. And Ramirez settles in. First pitch. Takes a swing at that fastball. Can't connect to 1-1. And Hanley Ramirez, uh, you know, he, he gets to the plate a lot, and as a result, he's got a shot at having some 200-plus uh, hit seasons. You know, if he's going to get those 200 hits, though, and he's done it once in his career in 07, ball. he's going to have to run the ball out when he puts it in play. And there were some issues in 2010 where he did run some ground balls out. He's going to have to dedicate himself to doing that. And he looks at a sinker in there, and it's one and two now. Uh, coming off a good ball game last night, picking up two hits in that one. The one-two on its way. Good patience. Hanley Ramirez letting it go by. Count is even. Well, that fastball right there just missed, just below the knees. Tell you what, a borderline pitch. I think they wanted that one bad. He delivers. Fastball well off the mark, and it's full three and two. Well, you saw the catcher right there setting up inside, and the pitcher just missed off the plate. Still a pretty good pitch, though. The three-two pitch. That one lofted in the air. It's caught. Now our State Farm sponsored look at which teams went the yard most last year. Number one, the Reds. The Brewers second. In third, the D-backs. The Rockies fourth. And number five, the Phillies rounded up. Well, this team lives and die with the home run ball. They were one of the top teams in the league last year at hitting the ball out of the ballpark. And they seem to want to continue that in this season. They have so much power and depth throughout this lineup that every one of these guys can hurt you. Ball. Fastball taken high. 1-0. he looks at a sinker in there one and one well that's textbook use of the sinker down and away pounding the strike zone good pitch and that's on the outside corner one and two The one-two pitch. Fastball swung out and missed, and the side's retired. And they are retired in short order. Good defensive half inning. And we'll see the Giants. Forecast tonight to be cold. Uh, definitely it's turned out that way. First pitch, here it comes. And he swings and hits this one foul. The pitch from Wainwright. Swung on, line to right field. And he gets it down. That's his third hit, three for three. Well, you're talking about a guy who's swinging a pretty hot bat right now. His third hit of this ball game, and it comes with nobody out in the inning. Mays settling in. He singled his last trip.
No one out and a runner on first. Here's the first pitch. Swing and a line to left. And it is in there. That's going to bring the tying run to the plate. This is an opening for San Francisco. It's one of the toughest pitches to hit in baseball. It really is the one that separates the good hitters from the mediocre hitters. He stays with the slider and doesn't try to do too much with it. No one out yet. Runners at first and second. Wasn't very far off the bag, so he gets back easily. First pitch. And that's taken for a strike. A fastball up in the zone like that. A pitch a lot of guys like to hit. He just couldn't swing the bat. Here's the delivery. Looping curve. Breaks outside, even at one. He went with the big curveball off the plate, trying to get him to reach for it, but he lays off. Here's a swing and a fly ball to right center. One away now. Well, that's a big first out of this inning. Now let's see if he can come back and get out of this thing unscathed. Terry in the batter's box. Had an RBI single his last time to the plate. One out with runners at first and second. Here's the pitch. Off the plate with a fastball, and it's 1-0. Hit sharply towards the hole. This a great situation for some offense. You want your hitters to go with the pitch. Don't try to force things. The ball's away. He drives it away. Use the whole part of that plate and the whole part of that bat. He did. Kids, you want to learn how to hit? That's how you do it. Bases are loaded here with only one away. Posey calls for the pitch. And that ball there as Wainwright misses. Ready with a 1-0. Fastball just misses and he falls behind 2-0. Well, this is no time right here to try to nibble on the corners. You've got to throw a pitch down the middle and hope you can get the hitter to get himself out. If you make a quality pitch, you can get out of this inning. If you don't, you're going to get hurt. Right on the slider, 2-0, and he missed it 2-1. and Come set, here's the 2-1 pitch. That's off the plate away, 3-1. Well, you've got to be careful right here. Look, you're down in the count three and one. You just can't throw something in there and hope he gets himself out. This guy's too dangerous for that. On the way. Strike he two. lets that fastball go by. Call strike three and two. Williams digging in. Here's the delivery. Swing and a miss. Slider, two down. Two outs now. Those runners are still standing on base. Let's see if we can find his way out of this with the lead intact. Well, tomorrow's headlines are going to be written right now. This is the time to be a hero. Team's down, but hit right here, and you're right back at the ballgame. Well, no question about that. A hit right here puts them right back in this game. It changes the whole complexion. Bases are loaded with two down. First pitch on the way. And it's 0-1. Wainwright with him looking there. That's a great pitch right there. Four-seam fastball. The problem is you lay it right down the middle. You're running the risk. He could hit it out of the park. Two. 
Waves at that fastball in the hole now, 0-2. Well, that two-seam fastball away is just screaming to be hit on the ground as the hitter opens up. Awfully tough to hit with that kind of movement. in on the hands for a ball one and two that curveball inside right there pretty good pitch but if he leaves it over the plate he's going to get hurt one two pitch coming fastball swung on and missed side retired so they load the bases on the strength of three base hits but no runs Rockies still out in front and Joey Votto to lead it off. He gets runs across National League's top five leaderboard. Votto gets set. Here's the pitch. Oh. That one's going to be outside. Ball one. The 1-0 now. Right. That catches the inside part of the plate. 1-1. Now the 1-1 one, one pitch. Good looking fastball. Call the ball though, 2 and 1. Two one on the way. And Joey Votto, he's got a 3-1 count. He uh, may be looking fastball right here. And when he can keep that thing down and away, it's nearly impossible to hit. Here's the pitch. Pitcher loses that battle. Could be costly. That's a leadoff walk. Well, he couldn't get the hitter to expand his strike zone. Good patience at the plate. Turned into a base on balls. That's going to bring Matt Kemp up. Look, Gary, that was his third walk in this game, but he's been able to pitch around his base runners and not give up any runs. Votto, he's on it first. Now Kemp gets set. Right, takes that one on the inside corner. Strike one. And Steve with the walks in the ballgame, even though there aren't many, the trouble is he doesn't have anything to work with here. Well, listen, you got to manage your base runners. You get guys on there, pitch around it, make your pitches when you need to, and that's what he's done. Ball. And a good eye there by Matt Kemp. Stays away from it. It's even. 250 is average last season against the Giants. And here's the delivery. 1-1 one, one pitch. A sinker taken for a strike. 1-2. and two. Uh, It's playing with fire. You're going to get burned if you leave pitches right there. The one two on its way. Hot shot towards the hole. That's one. Back to first. Not in time. One and two won't get it. Well, they get the lead runner at second, but they just couldn't turn two. No, they wanted to. Carlos Gonzalez has got a runner on first. Well, guys, in 2010, Carlos Gonzalez put himself right in the middle of the MVP race. 34 big home runs, 117 RBIs, 336 batting average. If there's anyone in baseball that has the chance to win a triple crown, to me, it's Cargo. And Carlos Gonzalez stands in. For his team, he's number two in hits. And Gonzalez settles in for his A.B. First pitch. Antonelli on to first. That's out number two. Well, if you're going to sacrifice, that's the pitch you want. Right down the middle of the plate, and you got it. And you need players to execute that. It's not easy when it's coming in there at 95 miles per hour. RBI situation for Buster Posey. He's in his third year in the majors.
Kemp's at second. Here's the pitch. First pitch, a changeup outside, 1-0. Well, that pitch right there, that change up away. If a guy's looking for it, that's a great pitch to be able to hit the other way with some power. The 1-0 pitch. This has popped down the right field line. Should be room. And there's the third out. So they can't push any across here in this half of the inning. Rockies four, San Francisco one. If you're just joining in, Gary Thorne with Steve Phillips and John Crunk bringing you Major League Baseball here on 2K Sports. And out on the mound, we've got Chad Billingsley. They've decided it's time to bring a new arm into this one. It is the top half of the seventh and a 1-0 count. Oh, with nine outs to go right now and, and leading by three, I mean, I think you have to start throwing strikes. Just go at the hitters, force them to put in play. Do not give them free passes. This one's grounded foul wide of first. Boy, excellent movement to the cutter, and it's one and two. Boy, that good late movement down, that cut fastball, unbelievable action on that pitch. And Billingsley now with the count one and two. Cut fastball misses, two and two. Two two pitch. Fastball inside. He had to do a little dancing on that one. Well, you have to have quick reflexes at the plate. The hitter getting out of the way there showed his reflexes. Here's the payoff pitch. That misses ball four. That is a guy you do not want to put on base. Well, that's what you want to do. You want to have quality at bats, get that pitch count up. And I tell you what, he worked this pitcher. It's, it's going to be tough for him to get this next hitter out after working that walk on so many pitches. Runner on first base, nobody out. And the first pitch. Can't get him to chase that one outside, ball one. Well, you see, he just missed with that fastball right there away. Let's see if they try to come back inside to try to jam him. Ball and two. that misses upstairs. Ball two. Posey calls for the pitch. That fastball is in for a strike. Two and one. Billingsley kicks and delivers the two one pitch. That one's on the ground, but he gets it in front of him. Smash towards the hole. That is in. It's going to bring the tying run to the plate. Well, he swung the bat well in the last game, getting two hits, and he seems to be continuing it in this one. It's going to be Jackson now. He hit into a double play his last time. Runners at first and second. Nobody out. And they don't want to forget about him over there, but he's back easily. Well, with the outstanding speed at second base right now, Gary, don't be surprised if they at least consider stealing third base. Foul ball! Hit foul by Jackson. Billingsley with the windup. Lays off the cutter. Good pitch, but it's 1-1.
The 1-1 one, one now. Jackson swings, hits this one. That's one down. And the deuce, a double play. A beautiful looking double play right there. Pitcher's best friend. Mm, that shortens the inning, shortens the number of pitches that have to be thrown. It's all about defense. Big time players live for these moments like this, Gary. He's a perfect three for three in the ballgame. Two outs and a runner on second. First pitch on the way. Swing, contact, Kemp. That'll do it as they put that one away. Chad Billingsley with some nice pitching. Stretch time in Denver. It's Andrew McCutcheon now. Last time up, triple homer run. Get the new count on McCutcheon. Here it comes. That's just over the outside part of the plate, 0 1. Hitting 229 lifetime off the Giants. The pitch, a line drive towards short. And Jackson fields the ball. So McCutcheon is sent down. A chance to get a glimpse at how the Rockies are doing in this early part of the season. He was first in triples, second in doubles, and they're the number two team in home runs. That ability to drive themselves in when they walk up to the plate. Great power in this lineup. And Troy Tulowitzki to bat. And a great year in 2010. Got better in the month of September with Troy Tulowitzki. He and Carlos Gonzalez almost single-handedly got the Colorado Rockies into the postseason. And if they did, the Giants wouldn't have been the world champs. Oh! Curveball just misses 1-0. Talking about Trulowitzki in the month that he had, uh, John said September. September, 15 homers, 40 RBIs, hit 322. You know, in that extraordinary performance, he slugged over 800 in that month. And what did it do? It left. Line shot into center field. And Trulowitzki's got a single. A chance to see where Troy Tulowitzki ended up in the rankings last season. Second in batting average with runners in scoring position. Third in batting average. And he really slugged the ball last year. Ranked in the top five in slugging percentage. That ability to drive the ball into the outfield gaps and down the lines. Puts himself in scoring position and drives in runs. One out man on first. First pitch to Ugla. The fastball is in there. It's 0-1. I don't think he likes that call, but when you're diving out over the plate, sometimes that fastball up and in doesn't look like a strike even when it is. Here it comes. This is swung on, lifted to deep right field. Two down here in the inning. And they'll hold him at first base. Well, they followed the advanced scouting reports to a tee. They played the outfielders back that time, and he hit it right into the teeth of the defense. It's Hanley Ramirez. You've got the lead right now with speed on first base. You have to get him going. I think, Gary, keep the pressure on. Keep trying to tack on some runs. He waited on that first pitch and took it. It's 1-0. Look at the season average for him last year. 207 against the Giants. Here's the 1-0. Hit in the air to left center. And it gets down. The streak is on. Well, that base hit will move him up to double digits as far as his hitting streak goes. Great job.
players with the most extra base hits from last year. Let's take a look, courtesy of State Farm. Two down, runners at first and second. And the first pitch, hit sharply towards the hole. He goes right with the pitch and slaps the ball into left field. And if you try and pull that pitch, you're probably not even going to get the bat on it. That's a ground ball to second base if he pulls that one. Two outs, base is loaded. And here's the delivery. Ground ball to Williams. Throws to first in time. That's three down. They pick up three hits in the inning. They leave the sacks full. And we'll see the Giants. And if you are just tuning in, hi, Gary Thorne along with John Crux, Steve Phillips. We bring you Major League Baseball on 2K Sports. Billingsley with the windup. Ball. First pitch fastball. Misses badly that time. 1-0. Obviously getting late right now, Gary, and I think that from the pitching perspective, you'll trade an out for a run at this stage of the game, understanding that for every out you get, you're closer to winning. Gets the bat on it. Foul to the right. Foul! Strike. Taking right down the middle for a strike. One and two. Well, outstanding movement on the cut fastball, but he left it out over the heart of the plate. He got away with one right there. Ground ball to Tulowitzki. And his throw gets him. One away. And Willie McCovey up. One out, nobody on. The first pitch. It's now 0-1. Watch that fastball go by. Now trailing right now, down three runs. You got one out here in the eighth. You got five outs left is the way you have to look at it. They need base runners. Get people on and hope somebody runs into one. A three-run deficit, not too much to overcome. And that one is high. Billingsley not able to get him to chase it. Well, that's just some good old country hardball right there. Forcing fastball up in the zone. Ball Cutter misses, and it's two and one. Here's the two one pitch. Lays off the change, three and one. Well, anytime you have a count three and one in your favor as the hitter, you're looking for a pitch in a little box in the location you want to. If he throws it in there, you better be ready and get a good hack at it. This one's pretty well hit to deep left center. And he'll take an extra base on this one. It's rolling towards the wall. Well, this could be the start right here that this offense needed in this inning. A nice double right there with only one away. This could ignite this offense, and possibly big things could happen. Terry gets a shot here. Two for three thus far. One out, a runner on at second base. And they've got the glove up. They're going to issue the free pass oh, here. Well, you know what? They're playing the situation. The intentional pass is the right move here. Much less risk than the way this guy's swinging the bat. And Williams in the box. Struck out swinging last time. Runners on first and second with one out. 
Here's the first pitch. Swung on and ripped towards second. Well, a guy that just continues to swing the bat well in this ball game. Three hits right now so far. And it comes with one out in the inning. Can it start a rally? Three on and one out. Billingsley with the windup. Swung on and it's hit. This one towards Gonzalez. Two away. That's a big second out right there. Holding on to a slim lead. Now he's got a chance to get out of this thing without any major trouble. Well, this is some kind of battle we're looking at right here, Gary. Now he's the possible go-ahead run at the plate. But Gary, he's going to look for a pitch that he can drive. Something up in the zone to try to hit it deep, possibly over the wall. First pitch to him. There's a swing and a miss behind 0 1. Right 0 1. Fastball and a called strike. Well, that's a hitter's pitch right there. Fastball right down the heart of the plate. He didn't swing. Swing the bat. Come on. And he lays off that one outside, one and two. Oh, that's a good pitch with a cut fastball. When you're throwing this pitch, you want to start it on the corner, run it off the plate, trying to get the hitter to chase. Good piece of hitting to lay off of it. Oh. Slider, two and two. Now the two, two. Swung on, hit softly, line to left. And he's on. That's the go-ahead run. That's one. And Steve, this one turns into a nice one-run RBI. You leave a pitch up in the zone like that, hitters are going to hammer it. That's what happened. Run scored, and another runner on base. A chance to find out what these guys are made of right now, Gary. And he has a chance to tie this game. Well, that's right. An extra base hit probably gives them the lead and keeps this rally going. up man in the box again and he needs to come through here with two down infield got to play back in this situation and get the out at the easiest base here's the first pitch and Broxton no luck on that delivery that'll be upstairs at the belt the 1-0 1-0 pitch is a fastball high, 2-0. Well, this doesn't look good right here. I mean, you're looking out at this pitcher. You can tell he's definitely rattled. He can't find the zone. This could be dangerous. Fastball just misses. He runs it to 3-0. But here we go. One pitch away from walking in another run. Inexcusable with the bases loaded and a big league pitcher on the mound. Here's the pitch. Got a rip at that fastball, 3-0, and but he missed it, 3-1. and one. Fastball is in there, now 3-2. The runner should get a good jump now with a 3-2 count and two outs. Runners go, 3-2 on the way. Fouled off. Foul ball! The full count pick. Struck him out. He gets out of this with just a little hurt. 
They pick up a run on three hits the night of big inning, though, as they leave the bases loaded. Giants doing a nice job starting to claw their way back. And Matt Camp will get us going here. Drove in a run earlier in the game. Now Kemp gets set. Change up in there for a called strike. He delivers. Called strike at the letter, so he's got him in the hole now, 0-2. Good pitchers change the hitter eye level. You go down low, then you run the fastball up high. A lot of times they just look at it, go by. Ball. And he misses the low outside corner, one and two. Kemp stays away from it. It's even. Popped up. Should be playable behind the plate. Tried to track that one down, but comes up empty. Swing liner back up the middle. And in there, second hit for him in the ball game in his fourth plate appearance. Let's take a look at the rankings from last year and how Matt Kemp stood up. Third in triples, fifth in stolen bases. And the home run numbers were there for him last season, ranked in the top 15 in home runs among the top end of power batters around the game. Runner on first, no outs. And Gonzalez settles in for his A-B. First pitch. Let's let breaking ball go outside for ball one. And they pitch out. Uh, nobody's moving. Fastball called strike two and one. Here's the two one. And he tries to get one down. Gets it. Over to first for out number one. That's a tough pitch to bunt the ball up in the zone. Oftentimes turns into a pop-up, but he gets it on the ground and advances the runner. Great job. That's one of those team effort plays right there. Now they'll be looking for the RBI. Now the opportunity's there for Buster Posey. Kemp's at second. One on, one out. Here's the pitch. Lays off that one inside, ball one. Well, a good pitch right there. He tried to get one in on his hands, but he just missed, though, in off the plate. Great pitch. The 1-0 now. 1-0 delivery is a fastball in there. 1-1. Now, oh, good life on this fastball as he just buries it down and away. Ball. 
Outside for a ball, and it's two and one. Swung on, that is hit. Oh, my, that almost got him. I don't know how he got out of the way. State Farm takes a look at the lineups with a pop in their bat from last season. Number one, the Reds. Second, the Rockies. Third spot, the Brewers. Fourth, D-backs. And number five, the Phillies rounded up. Well, slugging percentage plays a key part in any team's offense, and this team was one of the best in the league last year at doing that. They seem to hit for extra bases. You know, everyone says, well, they get on second base out, they score runs, but also they drive in a ton of runs with all those extra base hits that they get. That's why their slugging percentage is so high and why they're so successful. Get the new count on McCutcheon. Here it comes. He said bad underway. 1-0 after that first pitch miss. Well, and McCutcheon just picked up where he left off after his rookie season. Another solid performance in 2010. And I tell you, this kid has the chance to be a special one. Can do a lot of things on a baseball field, even starting to add some power to the arsenal. Swing and a drive. Deep left center. Now it's two down. Here's Kemp heading home. And Kemp comes in. Star hitters find ways to get big-time runs driven in, and he does it in this situation. Not with a home run, not with a ball off the wall, with an out, but it's still an RBI. And it's Troy Tulowitzki at the plate. Steve, we've seen them continue to charge it up at the plate, and it doesn't look like they're going to be stopped. Offense coming to life late here, tacking on additional insurance runs, taking the pressure off the pitch. First pitch inside with a fastball, ball one. Well, they may not have put it away, but they're sure are making it a lot easier for the guys coming out of the pen. Well, they wouldn't mind making it a little bit easier right now. Another big hit could really put it out of reach here, Gary. Pauses, and now the 1-0. Drilled towards third. And that's going to go through. That could be trouble. Well, that's three consecutive hits he's given up. He can't be out of gas yet. He just has to bear down and get somebody out. They don't want to go to bullpen this early in the game. A chance to see where Troy Chalowski ended up in the rankings last season. Second batting average of runners in scoring position. Third in batting average. And he really slugged the ball last year. Ranked in the top five in slugging percentage. That ability to drive the ball into the outfield gaps and down the lines puts himself in scoring position and drives in runs. Runners at second and third and two down. And here's the delivery. Ugla lays off the low pitch. Ready with a 1-0. There's a swing and a line drive. And the sides retired as they head into the dugout. So they scratch across a run. Three hits and a couple left on. The Rockies ahead by a few. It's going to be Jackson now. He'll start us out here in the last inning of regulation. You know, they're losing a little bit in the defensive department with this change. It may be geared more. Ground ball. Well, this guy's got a lot of speed over there at first base, and it's not going to be surprised to see him off and running to try to steal this base. And the number eight spot rolls around. He flew out his last time up. Jackson's on first. And here's the first one. That's a foul ball. Foul ball! Ball! Missed badly with a the fastball there, one and one. Chapman with the pitch. Missed with the fastball outside, two and one. Ball. 
That one swung on, hit in the air to deep right center field. That's one away. And they just tried to hold him there at first. Good first step movement by the right fielder. Good angle to run this one down and make a nice running catch. Mays is the batter. Had a couple of hits, four trips to the plate. One down, runner at first. And here's the first one. Fastball in there, 0-1. He looked like he was ready to swing that time at the plate, Gary, but he must have been looking for a different pitch as that fastball just paints the outside corner. Up the middle it goes. And he's up with it. There's one. And they'll get the double play. Ramirez there to finish that. Well, they treated their hometown crowd to a phenomenal pitching performance in this one. A big win on the shoulders of their pitchers. And we get a moment here to recognize our player of the game. Buster Posey, a game changer with that bat. Now, a lot of these times you get multi-hit games, but they really don't mean anything. This one, though, was very important because everything he did constituted them scoring runs. He set the table, he scored runs, and that's why he's our player of the game. And Steve, that ought to send these folks home happy. Oh, no question about it. They get the win in a close game, a lot of excitement and enthusiasm and ready for the next one. And we hope you've enjoyed today's 2K Sports broadcast of Major League Baseball. For Steve John and our entire 2K Sports crew, I'm Gary Thorne. We will see you soon.